all right what's going on guys it's your boy king j this is by Tekka 7 honest review so as you can see you got story which is the machine saga you got online offline customization jukebox gallery options player information playstation store and the vr mode now we're going to talk about the good stuff so story mode seems it, it's got the cinematic stuff pretty cool things i didn't like about story mode is that it seemed like it was just lost for type of like it would do good in terms of drawing in your attention and then it just kind of failed to fall through so i've pretty much completed story mode i haven't done on this account but i have on my other account and i don't know i i'm still a bit like well for what it was said is that the machine saga is meant to end or it's the conclusion of the Mishima uh, saga. It didn't really give too much information away. Like you could have brought back some characters like Asian Ogre and you know, not even in terms of playing, but just, just for the story mode. And you could have made it a lot more exciting. There was no no Asian Ogre, no June Kazama. Yeah, characters was missing. Uh, Jin wasn't in it for most of it, which was, it was I know it's to do with Heiachi and Kazuya and Kazumi. But there could have been more featured of Jin and the Devil Jin and Devil Devil Jin. Um, yeah, I wasn't I wasn't really phased. I was and other things as well. Character story modes. Why is it only like why is it not traditional? You go into arcade battle, you play seven people or five people, whatever it is, and then you unlock a story. I mean, a story ending. I feel like the, just playing one person and stuff, and then that's it. I just it was. It's not traditional Tekken, man, I'll be honest. Or in any fighting game, it just seemed very short. So, we're, we're moving on from that. Offline mode, we have Arcane Battle, which you can face up to 10 people. And then you have also Treasure Battle. Treasure Battle is pretty much where you can unlock special items and stuff to put in your character. Versus Battle, you can verse your friends. Practice mode. There's no survival mode. There is no time attack. That's done. And... For people that complain, don't complain about it. We never done survival mode or time attack anyways. When was the last time you done survival mode or time attack or team battle? The only time I've seen team battle is when you're around a few mates, you're having a laugh and you want to pass the controller around and you, you lot want to play. That's about it. But it's neither here or there. No one, no one really cares about that mode, to be honest. Character customization. Now, you've got player customization, which is different. I'm going to show you lot. So my one looks like this. King J aim for the universe that's what we do we aim for the universe because we're king already now I'm joking but yeah this is what you can do you can change up things you can unlock a lot of this stuff from treasure battle or even playing online and then you've got stuff like this you could change the title play you could change the player information as well you got loads of different ones so you could make it look you could make it look very fluffy and nice all cute and stuff and then you can make it look all Halloween effect I like it yeah you could change it I just wanted this one I thought this was quite cool I like the dollar looking sign all right so and then you have the health guards you could change the health guards to whatever now the issue with this that I've had so far is that when playing it online maybe this is before the day one patch when you play this online with the rank boss your your one is not different to the opponents your your one your, whatever one you choose is the same as the opponent's one as well so I'm a bit confused about that I thought it was you have your own health guard um, decoration and they have their health guard decoration but it doesn't seem to be the case that's cool character customization we'll get into that let's tackle into it right now so character customization you can customize your characters to look in whatever way you feel so I haven't done let's just go with a random character let's go with who do I like let me pick Bob I don't like him anymore in this game but you know we'll just we'll just use him just to kind of show you what I'm talking about in the game okay so you have a range of things a range of crazy things look at that could have a frog on your head all of these crazy stuff these stuff are not been unlocked and it says obtain obtainable from treasure chest no treasure chests appear in treasure battle or tournament mode so you can unlock this from treasure battle or tournament modes which tournament modes is online I'll show you a bit about that later on so these these are like these are like the custom oh there's no decal decal as well so you can't make your own like logos and text and stuff like that that's it's not in the game anymore sorry it's expired so we have other things like this 
as well. I kind of like the decals from um, Tekken Tag 2 because it makes the characters look unique. I hope they do bring that back again because most characters are going to be wearing the same pants. Look, there's only 22 items of pants. So, it's not really a great vary. You still got item moves as well. You know, it shows you item command and stuff. Can you see? Item command and stuff. So, yeah, you still got item moves. Um, still got your hit effects. Aura. You could change them to tan. I don't know if you could uh, get any more. It just, you could just change them to tan. That's it. Magic mirror as well. And then you got you got like illustrations and it shows who the illustrations are by as well so you know this one's by JB style this one's by Juni this would yeah see they're all they're all they're all different style ones that you can pick them which is I think that's pretty cool then let's say for example if I just put nah let's let's put a king hat on him all right cool we purchased it cool we want it yep yep all of that all right now now it comes to taking a picture now you can do sequence as well now you can choose the sequence of what they do with a hat and you can take the pic. i think you can take the picture as well can you like that oh yeah you can take the picture like that now which is quite sick i think it's different than what it was before usually you just had to take a long length picture of them which was quite annoying but now you can actually take like a picture of them when they're doing either a wind pose or an intro pose so as you can see that's character customization we don't want to get too much into that that's that's that done customization done yeah it's got a nice touch to it in terms of the bars and stuff they could have added decals in from the Tekken tag 2 that would have made it a lot more better but nevertheless not let's not cry over spilt milk let's get into jukebox so jukebox you can't use your own songs like the other one i think it's something to do with the user interface on ps4 or stuff like that i don't know but you have all the classical tekken songs regardless so you have pretty much let me show you so you can create three different playlists my playlist here i have jin kazama tekken 3 and then i have the inner shine from tekken 4 now in terms of the songs they have i think they have a range and did they have a range on this one I don't think they ever had a range on All right, let's go again so on the tech attack tournament they have arcade version console version then you have arcade version console version tech of free same thing here same thing again so you're able to go through a lot of the tracks do they have tech revolution let me just see because i think they're missing i think they're missing dr yeah they're missing dr i think do they have the, any of the tech of 5 dr songs on are oh, they they have resurrection yeah i don't think they have let me hear this one. Oh, they do have the take of five dr songs oh yeah i like this song Ooh, ooh. let's turn it up a little bit let's turn it up a little bit Ooh. all right so regardless we got we got this here anyways So right now, hmm, let me see what else I can find. I don't even think you lot even heard the song. I don't think you lot even heard the song. I think we might have to just change it up a little bit, actually. Um, I think you lot need to hear the song again because you lot didn't hear it. The lot didn't hear it. Let me hear it. Oh, did I change it? No, whoops. Right, let me go back. Sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. Where is it? Elegant the violence. This song. Yo. Yo. This is. Nah, I'm joking. I'm joking. Let's go. Let's, let's be serious now. This is an honest review. So, the jukebox, I like it. Really fun. Brings back the, the, the nostalgia of all the other games. Love it. I would have loved to put my own songs on because that's what I was used to for Tekken Tag 2, but it's not really a main issue. The songs are here. Tekken songs, it's all good. Now, let's get into gallery. All right, so we got all of the Tekken, all the uh, old school Tekken stuff here. It's nice. 
you know we could watch is it all the endings it looks like all the endings i think i don't think this is all the endings i think it is it that can't be all the endings it looked like there was more characters than that I don't think that's all the endings. I might be wrong. I might be wrong. I might be wrong. I don't know. This is definitely all the endings. They could have had that many characters. Yeah, and the sub. Okay, cool. So then now, you have these ones as well. Oh, whoops. I know. I don't want to play the songs because yeah. Might might get copyright strike because that's from the pan. Uh, what's it? What do you call it again? It's the arcade slot machine. Panchico is it? Pan pa Panchico CR Tekken Two Special Movie Three. So it's got like loads of them. I've not seen none of these ones before. I'll be honest. Like when I looked at it, I was like, "What is this?" Didn't see none of them. I didn't understand it. Oh, we have artworks as well. I didn't. I forgot to tell you lot. Oh, but we have we have some nice artwork. By this person, I want it. Serious. This is this is good stuff. So you got artwork for this. So then artwork again. Artwork for Tekken One. Artwork for Tekken Two. Let me see some Tekken Four artworks. So th here's all of this as well. So you have quite a bit to unlock. It's 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 interesting. Now VR mode. Now. I'm just gonna be honest with you. This VR mode in Tekken 7 is probably one of the worst VR modes I've seen. Now, in terms of like VR, I was expecting Tekken Ball or the wireframe, something like that. But for competitive players, it's one of the worst. But for the casual crowd, I can see where they're going with it. You know, kids will probably wanna see and look around uh, you can't change the stage, that's number one. So you can't change the stage of the VR mode. So it's literally you're in Infinite uh, Zora, but it's turned dark purple. You either can play against a computer or you could play practice mode. You could slow down time, that's it. That's all she wrote. That's the reason why I don't like VR mode at all. That's just me being honest. VR mode, it could have been something better. They could have said, oh, let's do Tekken Ball. Imagine Tekken Ball putting on the VR and you're looking and you're throwing the ball. And you're throwing the ball in the direction of where you're looking. That would be. That would be so so good or even just the wireframe to, from Tekken 2 I thought that would be really good but they didn't put that in so yeah that that's all she wrote from that I'm kind of I was upset about that to be honest uh, play information shows you everything your wins your losses to show your losses just shows your wins your battles um, your online so player match wins 22 wins add 30 battles so that means I lost eight uh, ranked matches, 91 wins, 118 battles. So, do you know what I mean? There we go. Ranked match, win rate, 77%. Come on, you know who it is. I'll be the king. Some of the matches were laggy. Some of the matches were Kane and Trench. Don't worry, Kane and Trench. I got you as well, because I took your win streak as well. Don't watch that, though. You guys are going to be seeing the stream, so if you don't want to see the stream, twitch.tv slash kingjae. Cool. Now... We've done offline, we've done that. I don't want to show you none of the story mode. I don't want to do no spoilers. This is spoiler free. Online. We're going to show you about online. So, leaderboards. I don't know where I'm on the leaderboards now. I think it's probably refreshed. Yeah, bear people. Bear people are there. Kane Trench. Yeah, there's bear people there. So, where am I on the leaderboard? I think I'm like... I was second at one stage. I'm 27th now. I haven't played all night. I know everyone was just hammering the game while I, while I was asleep. They probably just, yeah, they were probably playing it a lot. Now, play a match. Let's do a quick play a match, quick match. I think things will change on the day one patch, so I'm going to put that out there now. Day one patch, things will probably change. Let's, play, let's pick Gigas. I just want to show you how maybe it's i don't think it's that quick to find people on a but again like i said i just don't know because the day one patch it might just change everything online so i'll just show you so this is 
as you can see this is the online waiting screen online lobby screen which you wait for opponent obviously my gigas looks quite crazy and creative it's got it's got jenga blocks on his head but you have to hear every time you hear it, it drops it drops a jenga box so we're just gonna wait for someone i'm not you lot ain't gonna wait with for me i'm just gonna pause it and then wait for someone okay so we found someone let's go So we're saying connecting. Request could then be found. All right, fair enough. So let's come out of this. I was just gonna show you how player matches. Tournaments are pretty much different. I'll show you how tournaments work. So begin match. I don't know why that happened. I wanna, oh sorry, I done quick tournament. So I wanna show you how to create a tournament. So we're gonna call it King. King mode. That's what we're gonna call it. King mode. Just to, just to muck around. King mode. There we go. Uh, proceed with this name. Yeah, sick. Tournament double lip. So you got single and double elimination. Sick. Simultaneous battles. And it's got estimated tournament duration. Mad. Language any rank any. You could be similar rank, or you could do a whole private slot. So if you say for example, if I was doing an online tournament for my um, Twitch, and I wanted to just put seven people i wanted to just invite seven people obviously i'd be the one person that would mean eight players uh simultaneous battles so that i'm assuming and i'm assuming that all these battles all these tournaments are going on everyone's playing at the same time so if it's not simultaneous battles i'm assuming that this means that we watch everyone everyone watches the matches that are going on as they're going on in the in the tournament So let's wait for this to load up. I haven't tried it properly yet. I tried it once. So as you can see here it is. And you've got loser bracket. You have the chat. Where you can just write stuff. WWW. Pops up. There you go. King J. You see what I'm saying? And then you have everyone there. Uh, you have the. You can win some money as well. Sick. It's good stuff man. I, I really think this mode is useful. Especially like. Where in a. You can, view, you can invite players, leave tournament, kick people. You know, if someone's cheating and they're trying to do lag switch or rage quit, just kick them out, man. Just boop, kick them out. So that that mode is really good. It's very innovative as well because we don't have a mode like that in a fine game. I don't think. No, we don't. Not one that I know of anyways. So ranked is warm up. You can find people either by staying in the lobby or you can go into this part here. So this is what finds the people. It's kind of got that kind of Street Fighter kind. Of Street Fighter Four. I don't know if you lot play Street Fighter Four, but in Street Fighter Four, it had pretty much where a mo it, well the online was you can choose who's there. So if there's someone there and you know that they they rage quit and stuff, you don't have to go to him. You don't lose points. It's a hit and a miss because if this, it's good because you can kind of like you know before when you played online and you you, you don't want to play that person you put them on the ignore list on the xbox or psn but they still pair up that was a, always a massive issue but now it's like if you see the person you just don't pick them simple as that now look we just found i found this guy here so what happens is is that i'm able to choose him and then i have to wait for his response if he wants to play so yeah, it's, it's, I think it's pretty cool. I'm enjoying it right now. I think it's better than the Tag 2 online, definitely. Loading times. Mm, loading times online. Let's have a look for yourself. I can show you better than I can tell you, basically. So this is the loading time. Not too bad. Alright, so this guy's I think he's pretty good. So I'll just show you this match anyways. KO Round two. Fight. 
also another thing as well is once you win you could have a choice to do revenge match so the revenge match the thing i have uh, the issue that i have with revenge match is that if you win one and then the other person wins one then that's it i don't think that's i think they need to change it and i think it needs to be some there needs to be a winner so if it, if you win one and then they win one there should be a decider but they don't have that in this it's just like literally it's either you could go 2-0 or 1-1 i don't think that's i don't think that's see it doesn't make sense to be honest yeah so as you can see i won 2-0 got some nice amount of points and then it turns you to return match list you could you could then find people again uh i like this i think it's i think it's quite cool but then again there's people that probably can boost you can find your mates and then you know you both could be around the same rank and then you can level up together so it works out in two ways if they had like a a thing where you can't play that person more than twice again or something like that then maybe that might be good uh yeah see then you find you keep finding people so all in all that's the online covered leaderboards as well you can find out who's on the leaderboard in terms of like points it's set out in the world um, got your rank profile so you can see profile of people I'm sure there was another way you could do it yeah you could do it like this as well so there's a load of people I was second before but now I think yeah there's just loads of people now but loads of people have the game but all in all I don't want to make this review longer than what it is. I want to also talk about one more thing as well. Practice mode. Now, practice. whereas practice mode is good, I still feel like it's lacking in some areas. So, there is no frame data for Tekken again. Now, Killer Instinct is a prime example of a game that brings in frame data. Injustice 2 has frame data. I think this is just one of those things that are key in a fighting game. If you really want to, you know, you've announced the Tekken World Tour, you haven't put anything for frame data for people to learn. It's like people have to do it externally. I'm not really too sure why that is. But at the same time, I feel like it's something that's really needed in a game like this. Really needed. Tekken is frame data. I feel like it's frame data heavy. So. I don't know why it's not added into the game. Maybe that's something that could be added in later on. And again, I don't want people to feel like I'm just flaming the game. I like, I, I love this second. I was on it for like 10 hours. But there's just certain things in the game. I'm just like, well, why is frame day not in the game? Why is it that story mode wasn't longer? Why is it that, do you know what I mean? There's a couple of things I had general issues with. So there's no frame data for the game. You could you got restarting settings, displays. So this is all the stuff you have. Opponent throw, opponent throw escapes. So this is quite good for maybe if you want to see if you're a frame of advantage after a throw break and stuff like that, or where does the throw break lead you and stuff like that. That's more of the advanced play, which is pretty cool. Opponent super uh, combo guard. Um, so that will be for Akuma. Opponent rage on on. So both of our rages are on. So save it up before we to learn the combo. And see if this hits the No, not that. <laughs> and it's got all your stuff there, like the hit combo, the damage, total damage, max damage. It's got all of that. So yeah man. In terms of like what I would give Tekken 7 out of 10, I'll give it an 8.5. I'll give it 8.5. I purely love Tekken 7 because of the, the gameplay. The gameplay is amazing. In terms of certain things like rage arts, rage drives, you have loads of these things and it's, these things make the game a lot more better because before when you sell Tekken, Tekken 7, or any Tekken game, should I say, it's literally, you, people would just say, oh yeah, it's that game where you put them up in the air, you just juggle them and stuff. There's a lot more things to it. There's, I'll show you. I'll show you better than I could tell you. Let's give you the Kazuya with the frog on his head. So, Rage, I'll explain some of the stuff as well. Also, if you guys are, guys and girls are new to Tekken as well, I have a guide that's going to be Tekken Basic to Pro. 
which will, te will teach people how to play the game and it'll teach you all the mechanics so I'm not going to go over all the mechanics now but I'm just going to teach you the new stuff and just, just not even teach you just show you the new stuff like the new combos rage arts rage drives all that good stuff they have slow motion in it as well but I'm not going to show you that you don't might as well get the game and see it for yourself alright so here we go so let's say for example this is this is a this is his rage that's his rage drive see he, he flashes blue or should I say he stays blue each character has it and it's a move that can either change I would say it changes the flow of the gameplay because it does quite a bit of damage or it could continue on a combo each character has something different and then you have the rage art which is like a super combo if you played other games you got super combos stuff like this this is all new to Tekken so yeah even the graphics the graphics look nice I, I think the graphics could be I don't know because I'm, I'm running off the uh, PS4 not the PS4 Pro and it's 900p but I feel like the graphics could be a bit better I feel like it could be a bit better like you see you see sweat and stuff when it goes up close to them and stuff like that I don't know I feel like the graphics could be a tad bit better like look at it look at the arcade version for so long then look at this one I feel like it could be a bit better but either way the gameplay is brilliant Bri 10 out of 10 gameplay is brilliant like the way how the music changes as well when you get to like when you're on match point game's brilliant gameplay is really nice it's more fluent it's more fluent than Tekken Tekken Tag 2 or any of the other Tekken this feels more fluent so I really like it what would I give Tekken 7 out of 10 8.5 like I said a couple things VR could have been something really great could have been could have been Tekken Bowl, it could have been anything, but they only made it to a practice mode. Oh, and player customization, you can look at them when you go to VR, but it's not good. But again, it's not really for a competitive audience. I would love to play Tekken Bowl with a, a group of friends with VR on or something like that. That would be good, but it's just never happened. So that's that. I feel like the VR mode could have been a lot better. So I was, I was heavily disappointed. Uh, gameplay is really nice. Jukebox is good, customization is good. It could have been better. The decals sh should should have came back. Gallery, you get to see everything. The nostalgia of Tekken. If you if you wasn't even born around Tekken one and two, you can see everything on here, like the the the, the endings and stuff like that. I like the customization of your health bar and stuff like that as well. I think that's cool. Arcade arcade battle, treasure battle versus battle. Practice mode should have, and I repeat, it should have frame data frame data is the next step for people to understand like the maths behind moves I don't know why it wasn't in there and then you have story story mode as well story the story the Mishima saga could have been it could have been lengthier and it could have been better I feel like I felt like once you get to a stage you're fighting multiples of people then you're fighting a boss it felt like Tekken Force a bit but you're just on the stage you're not moving you're not moving along anything you're just on the stage so yeah that's my honest review on Tekken 7 again it's nothing fabricated I'm just saying it how it is again I still have a lot of love for the game look out for the Tekken World Tour TekkenWorldTour.com for all the tournaments if you want to become pro have a look at that if you're not at that level and you want to become at that level I have a lot of guides that will be coming out to help people get up to scratch with Tekken so don't be scared the basic the pro guide will be out very soon and if you don't like a lot of Tekken 7 content or want to get better at the game, please leave a comment down below. Give me your review on the game. What do you lot think of Tekken 7? Other than that, guys, this has been King J. Take it easy. Peace.